think back uh, to a little more than 18 months ago. It was October of 2022. 1.25 in the morning, I was startled awake by my phone ringing. I pick up the phone and Kelsey's in tears, telling me she's never going to meet that guy. And I gave her the, the only advice I knew. Kels, love will happen for you. It will happen when you least expect it. And who did she meet the very next day? <laughs> Mr. Ian Flanagan. Oh, how do you feel? Ready to marry you. Yeah, you look ready. Let's see. Ready to marry me? Let's get hit. So, Kelsey, welcome to the Flanagan family. So in love with you, the first to do at the house, you're talking to Kathy. And you just boldly said to Kathy, I'm going to marry your son. <laughs> I heard that. I said, damn, she is. Look where we are. It was really important for us to have Kathy involved in today. Uh, you're going to make her cry. Um, we took her wedding dress. I know hearts were like really important to her and I found a heart-shaped piece of lace that I put in there. We also had another piece that we took and made for you for you to carry today. So I, I wish she was here. I love you too. Thank you so much. Don't we ever get rid of that jacket. <laughs> Ian, I didn't believe in fairy tales until I met you. In fact, I didn't believe in much about love at all at that point, as it had always been a thing that deceived me. Oh, what a beautiful thing it is to find a love that fully receives you. The universal acceptance and celebration of everything that is you. The feeling of being truly and deeply understood. There's only one word to describe it, and it's magic. I love you. Kelsey, I love you, girl. From the moment we met, I knew I was in trouble. You're the most passionate, beautiful, smart, and funny person I've ever met. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> you just gotta breathe through it. Just breathe through it. <laughs> Promise to always have your back, to always put our family first, to make you laugh in the hard times, and to bring you peace in the chaos. I believe in you and the person you will grow to be and the partners and parents will be. Uh, we've been through so much together in life already, and I'm grateful for how much we've grown and learned together. And I get to call you my wife, my best friend. I love being with you. And I quite simply, since the moment I met you, could not imagine a day without being yours. People like to say in life, you don't need another person to make you whole. But now that I've had you, I can definitely say that I need you. My soul belongs with yours. You are my person, you give me life, and it is a privilege to spend the rest of my days with you. I now pronounce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ian Flanagan.